Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today is a very special day because we finally ended our 3,793 kill grind for the Great One and I went back to this lake that we killed him at a couple runs later which is uh, where we are right now and we got this little piebald buck here too so that was kind of a nice thing to come back to. I honestly just came over here to do the intro and kind of show off the location that we took him at but we actually do have a piebald buck right here and it's a pretty decent one so I think once he gets a little bit closer we'll take a shot on him I want to get him close so we can get a couple pictures but I'm just incredibly happy that we finally took out the great one after a full year of grinding pretty much and almost 4,000 kills we finally have him on the ground and you guys are going to see all the moments leading up to it along with taking him out and a look at him in the trophy lodge after. We did this all on live stream and it was actually about an hour and a half into the stream so we had already been grinding quite a bit and just to have it happen live on stream was so cool. This is I believe the third great one that has been killed live on stream in the past week and a half. Uh, Corpse Kill Gaming got his and then Grim DV also got his both live on Twitch. And then I got mine here live on YouTube, not even a week after they got theirs, which is just incredible. I can't believe just the amount of insane luck that has happened in the community ever since we started adapting Grimm's tactics. It's been quite impressive, honestly. And we did use Grimm's tactics completely, so before we actually show anything off, I do want to real quickly say that... Huge thank you to Grim for releasing all the details on how he grinds great ones and how he has got four different great ones. And if you guys want to know anything about his tactics and how to do that, I would highly recommend going over to Lady Legend's channel and checking out the videos that she has done with Grim, where he reveals all his secrets on how to get a great one and how to get multiple great ones. And then also I'll link his Twitch down in the comments section so that you guys can go check him out if you want, because I really do want to give a huge thanks to him for even making this possible I never would have been able to do this without him because he truly helped me optimize my grinding quite a bit and it really paid off but uh, with all that said let's go ahead and take out this little piebald right here now unfortunately we didn't get to take the great one with the air rifle like I wanted to because I didn't have it with me at the time and I didn't want to risk the possibility of the glitch where great ones turn into diamonds uh, still being a thing because it is supposed to be fixed but on the off chance that there was still a possibility of it happening I wanted to be safe so we just took it with whatever we had on us which at the time was the 303. Let's go ahead and pick this little guy up right here that's actually a pretty beautiful piebald. This is one of the nicer ones that I've killed as of recent at 220.80 and this is the first rare whitetail off of the grind on Rancho Del Arroyo. We got a f quite a few rares on Layton but out of almost 800 kills this is the first rare that I've got on my own map in Rancho Del Arroyo for the whitetail. So that's pretty cool to get right after we got him and to get him in the same spot is even cooler. But I think without further ado, let's just jump straight into all of the footage leading up to the point where we got the great one because it was quite a crazy ride and it was honestly just insane to see it all unfold. So let's get straight into it. There's an 85 to 100 buck. Now we do have a few 85 to 100s around the map. I did a quick scouting earlier this morning to make sure I didn't have any great ones. So there's a decent amount of 85 to 100s. That's a good buck. That is a solid white tail. Very good deer. That's a buck too, I think. <laughs> oh my gosh, we just hit a neck shot. Wow, that was a crazy shot. Where'd this other guy go? Find him, pupper. You got this. I believe in you. Oh, I passed him. Guys, am I just blind? I think I'm blind. And this is why the dogs are awesome. That's an 85 to 100 and that's a pretty decent one next to him. Let's take both of them out. Oh, you. How dare you stop behind that tree. Shoot. 
Should be two dead bucks. Yeah, they both dropped. Grab that guy, and then the other one should be right there. 235, that's a big buck. That's a giant whitetail. We got one singular buck right there. Two bucks, actually. Another 85 to 100, though. And the countless grinds that I've done also contribute to that. There's actually more deer here than normal. This zone used to have only two bucks. It's got four now. Explains why some of my other zones are losing bucks. Take those two out and then we should be good. Calling great one next lake? You never know. Could be. Although I don't think so because I checked the uh, map earlier today and didn't see anything. I didn't shoot any bucks. I just went through and checked to make sure I didn't have a great one before I logged off. And I didn't see anything, so... I doubt we got anything. But you never know. Calling great one in the future be that. You know, you can't argue with that one. Oh, another one. Okay, so there was no bucks here earlier when I looked. We do have an 85 to 100. And that guy too. Uh, didn't get vital somehow. That one definitely got vitals. Classic has got so much better in that aspect over the past couple years. They really made it into a great free-to-play game. Two small males. There he is. There's the big guy. I think we nailed him. Alright, let's see. Is this guy anywhere close to diamond? I don't think so. Nah, 237. It is a wide boy, though. Very wide buck. That's a buck right there. Can't spot him, though. There he is. That worked, somehow. I don't know how we got that, but it worked. Come on, where's the big males? See some medium males. But it's been, like I said, like 15 years since I saw that movie. But it was one of my favorites as a kid. <laughs> that death was amazing. Oh my gosh. That was so dramatic. He like takes a second to look me in the eyes. And then just collapses. Heard about the plans soon? Noise. And yes, we do got we do got some plans soon. A uh, little bit of a special stream for you guys. Not going to announce what it is yet, but very soon we will have ourselves a uh, special live stream. Not going to give any more info away though, until I uh, know a little bit more about what the full plans are. Alright, later Inferno. Thank you for dropping in, man. Oh, Lil Dicky's okay in a couple of his songs. I mean, the one that he did with Snoop was pretty good. I think it was Professional Rapper. That song's not bad. Oh my gosh! Oh no! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's... Oh my gosh! He's in front of me! <laughs> I can't believe it! You have got to be kidding me! <laughs> oh 
Oh my gosh, the great one is in front of us. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was like, that's a strange looking white tail. Oh my gosh, we we have him right in front of us. Um, I don't have the gun on me that I want to use. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I can't believe it, guys. 3,800 kills of grinding. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I'm still worried that there might be a bug with uh, him turning into a uh, level 5 or something like that. So I might just shoot him right now. I don't know if I'm going to go back and get the gun I wanted to use. I think I kind of just want to shoot him with the rifle. As much as I'd like to go get the shotgun and just blast him with buckshot, I'm not risking it, guys. I, I just want to get him on the ground. 3,800 kills leading up to this moment. And I can finally add him to a multi mount. You gotta be joking. There's no way that just happened. There's no way that just happened, guys. There's no way that we finally got him on Rancho Del Arroyo. And it's the rack that I wanted, too. It's the exact rack that I wanted. And you guys got to watch him spawn live. We killed a 85 to 100 buck here last time. Oh my gosh. What a beauty. Look at that beast. Look at that beast of a buck. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. I have never been happier my entire time playing this game than right now. The great one. We got him. <laughs> we got him and we got the one that I wanted. 106.23 kgs. 414. Oh my gosh, guys. What a giant. What an absolute giant buck. <laughs> I can't believe we finally completed this. Oh my gosh, this grind has been like so brutal and we finally got him. Oh my gosh. I don't even care that I didn't get to use the gun I wanted. I was not going to risk uh, anything weird happening since we haven't actually seen if the fixes fixed them disappearing. But man, I'm just glad we got him. I, I don't even care that I didn't get to use the air rifle. And on the same day that we hit 17k subs, I, I'm i just lost for words right now. I, I just want to stare at him. Like, honestly, I just want to stare at him. I've already taxed him, so we might as well just look at him for a little bit. Let's go into the lodge and take a look at him. But uh, this does prove that you can get him without getting a diamond right before. Because that was one thing that a lot of people suspected is that you needed to get a diamond. But this guy did not spawn from a diamond. It's been like 60 kills since I got my last diamond. Maybe even more even. It might have been closer to 100 kills since my last diamond. And we managed to uh, get him off of just a large 85 to 100 buck. Because the last run we did at this location, there was an 85 to 100, but it was just like a 230s, I believe. And this is what spawned after him. So as of now, we do have that bug where they're showing up as fabled piebalds for the old uh, diamonds. So we will have to ignore that. But uh, where is it? Let's see. Where is that mount? Yep, that's our close tips one. Wow. This guy is uh, taking this spot right here. We started this grind for the Great One around a year ago. And during that time, we've killed almost 4,000 white-tailed deer. And never did I expect him to come only 693 kills after starting the grind on Rancho Del Arroyo. We may have spent almost 4,000 kills trying to get a Great One, but 
The amount of kills we got on Rancho wasn't nearly as many as I was expecting it to be before he spawned. And the most surprising thing I think was the fact that I had no rares and only two diamonds before I got him off of Rancho. And that was kind of crazy to me. Usually I get a diamond or a rare every 100 kills or so, but it was going really slow and I never really expected something good like the Great One to spawn out of it. And the fact that he spawned on a honestly mediocre run was even crazier because for the longest time we thought that level threes were what spawned great ones but i guess that's not the case because i didn't shoot a single level three in roughly like the 70 to 100 kills before i got this guy so there's no way he could have spawned from a three which means i really do think that he's just a random spawn i think you can get him off of any buck but i do think that level threes probably have a higher chance of spawning a great one which I guess would make sense because the bigger the whitetail, the higher chance that it comes back is something big. But it's just so nice to finally have this grind come to an end. And I really can't thank you guys enough for sticking with the channel through all of this grinding. All of the times that we've done Great One Grinding streams, it's been probably the most prevalent thing on the channel. And I know some of you probably got tired of seeing nothing but whitetail content, but I really do appreciate everybody that stuck with me through all of this. And it's just amazing to see it finally pay off. And it's even greater after we got that uh, broken troll bugged great one, which uh, he's actually right here at 271. This guy right here was a level five weighing like 109 kgs, which is what a bugged great one would have been. So thankfully that's fixed now. So we won't have to worry about that anymore, but it's honestly kind of cool to have him next to his bugged counterpart. And as of the time of recording this, there is a bug in the trophy logs lodges currently that is causing some of the whitetail to have the fabled piebald skin. Uh, this is supposed to be fixed soon, but depending on when you guys watch this video, it might actually already be fixed. But that's why this guy looks like a piebald is because the fact that he is currently in the update that is bugged. But the main focus of today is this guy and I'm just still at a loss for words to everything that's happened. It's just honestly insane to see all of my hard work finally pay off. And once again, I can't thank you guys enough. So truly from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much for sticking with me through this grind and supporting the channel. It really means so much to me. And also thank you guys for 17,000 subscribers because we did hit 17k in the same stream that we took this guy down. So it was honestly the best stream we've ever had. I gotta say, it was amazing. But with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate every single one of you. If you guys have anything that you think we should grind for next, put it down in the comments. Or do you think we should go for another great one? Because there's still one or two more racks that I really want to get for the great one. And although I probably won't hammer the grind as much as I did for this guy, I definitely want to continue grinding to try and get a second one. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. What should we grind for next? Uh, what's your favorite great one rack? Which one should we try to get? and pretty much anything else that you guys would like to say but thank you guys so much if you're brand new to the channel be sure to click that subscribe button click the like button and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss a video and i will see you all in the next one peace